So the Lisa Maria Jones Mare's Hurdle is next in a very small field for this one. Only about five or six of them, I think. And we wait for the car to come up. Why oh, it's taking so long to load when there's only six runners, but uh, maybe that's got nothing to do with it at all. It's more to do with the scenery or something, I don't know. Anyway, I'm sure they'll be up in a minute. Waffle, 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 waffle. There we go then. Three miles and one foot like a maiden hurdle for. I think it's for mares. It's the Lisa Jones mares hurdle. So you'd think it would be Caliper King, though. Stu Gray doesn't sound like a mare. Side of Gold, Derek Hinton. Blind Faith, Kevin Meadhan. Chasing Clouds, Marshall in Persian Gulf, Jim Murray. And Potter's Midnight was the John Morgan horse at the bottom. They're already racing. And down towards the first flight. Over that one they go. And they're all safely over it. With three miles still to race through the first furlong. They've already gone there. And Potter's Midnight is a John Morgan front runner. Hoping it last home better than the last one in the last race, which was swamped towards the end. When it's Potter's Midnight in the lead, then from Blind Faith in second, and the back four are together. Side of Gold, Canapa King, Persian Gulf, and Chasing Clouds on the outside in the purple jacket. And it's Potter's Midnight who's going to take them along. I'm quite sure why we've only got six runners in this. Oh, we haven't many long distance hurdlers this season. I thought that there were one or two people with three mile chases trying to get a handicap mark. Early on in the season, that's what a lot of people do in the first two weeks. Make sure their horse runs over fences one week and hurdles the next so they're handicapped to go into whatever they see fit from there on in. Specialist chasers and specialist hurdlers. So six is a little bit different to real life in that way that quite a few horses seem to change obstacles weekly without too much ill effect. And Potter's Midnight's got these well strung out and an Indian file at the moment. We need Potter's Midnight five lengths clear of Blind Faith in second and a gap of about three to Persian Gulf. And we've got Cider Gold. He's now been joined by Canapa King and Chasing Clouds is the back marker. So Potter's Midnight is well clear. At this stage of the race, you can see the all weather track on the inside, which will tell everybody we're at Kempton Park. Potter's Midnight then skips. Over that one in the lead. They're all hurdling well. Potter's Midnight in front for John Morgan. Kevin Meadhan's Blind Faith in second. Kevin Meadhan and Blind Faith fun. Good album anyway, they both won, didn't they? And over the next they go. Clapton, Steve Winwood, Jack Bruce, Ginger Baker maybe? Or well, Jack Bruce, not there. I can't remember now. Off the top of my head. Good album though. And Potter's Midnight's in the lead. Blind Faith is second. Gap back to Persian Gulf and Canapa King and Side of Gold. With Chasing Clouds. Just a back marker. Chasing Clouds chasing tails at the moment. They've still got a mile and a half to go. And nothing very dramatic's happened so far. Potter's Midnight is a length clear. Blind Faith. Songs, which I seem to be quite can't find my way home, so let's hope he can find his way home for Kevin. What is midnight on the inside as they skip over that one? Over an okay field beginning to get a little bit closer to each other now. What is midnight in the lead? Blind Faith second, Persian Gulf third, Canapa King fourth, then Cider Gold and Chasing Clouds. He's still chasing everybody at the back. And Potter's midnight then by a length. Faith tucked in behind in second. Persian Gulf and Canapa King are getting that little bit closer. And Chasing Clouds has been pulled up, so there you go. The pull up kit into effect, even though there's only six runners and Chasing Clouds wasn't all that far behind. To be fair, Chasing Clouds is mine, and I think it's probably more at two and three quarter miles anyway. But uh, it just shows you the level. 
this season. Well, some of them I didn't do too badly last season with my jumpers, but they're not very good at all this year. And Potter's Midnight's the leader. And Blind Fate second. Persian Gold third. Canopy King fourth. And then a bit of a gap to Cider Gold. So all five of these will pick up some prize money if they finish. The order remains pretty much the same. And nothing very exciting has happened so far. And uh, I've only got three more flights to take. And Potter's Midnight. Blind Faith, Persian Gulf, Canapa King. Side of Gold just struggling a bit at the back. Oh, the two trainers watching this might be wishing they'd thrown one in now. And Potter's Midnight. Just being pushed along to keep the pace up. So to Blind Faith, Persian Gulf. Looks the one to be going the best of the chasing pack at the moment. You can't really tell. With these sometimes because they look like they've flattened out and then suddenly they get back into it again. And they're swinging towards home. They've got two flights to take. Past the three furlong pole and Potter's Midnight. Definitely gone for home. Persian Gulf is in hot pursuit in second. Blind Faith is now looking a bit one post in third. Canapa King in fourth. And Cider Gold in fifth. And towards the second last. And over that one, there's a better jump by Persian Gulf. And Persian Gulf looks to be just sitting on the tail of Potter's Midnight. Really got pants whenever he feels like it at the moment. She feels like it. Down towards the final flight they go then and oh that one it was a better jump well by Potter's Midnight maybe that one got a little bit left in the tank Persian Gulf trying to rally now down towards the line they go they're well clear but Potter's Midnight Chucky for a canny race on this one he's just kept enough under the tank to take it and Potter's Midnight wins it Persian Gulf took the lead within strides of passing the post so a bit of a bonus for John Morgan's jockey I think now he should be getting a I think he should be getting himself a nice little envelope full of cash for doing a good job. Potter's Midnight, the clever winner. Persian Gulf, second. And the rest of them, well out of shot. Well, I've got the full card there. You can see Cider Gold run right on to be third. And it's Potter's Midnight for John Morgan that takes it. Persian Gulf, Jim Murray, second. Cider Gold for Derek Hinton was third. Blind Faith for Kevin Meenan was fourth. And Canapa King for Stu Gray was fifth. And you can see there were, in fact, two male horses in that race, which I thought was a mare's race.